Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Chris, and let's talk about the new Gmail. So, after what had seemed like a long overdue update, Google has finally revamped the look of Gmail. There are new features, new tweaks, new functionalities, and here are my top five best new features of the new Gmail. First of all, the new Gmail is still in the process of rolling out to all users across the globe. So, to check if the new Gmail is available for you, just log into your Gmail account, click on the settings icon, and select new Gmail. It reloads. And there you go, you have the new Gmail. So the new Gmail is putting a fresh new look that looks clean and neat. Google is clearly sticking to their guns and making the interface as simple as possible. Everything is where it was before, the menus, the settings, the icons, everything. But when you look closely, you notice that there are subtle changes all over the interface. This compose button for instance looks different. There's also this new icon on the left that collapses the left hand side menu into icons and leaves with more space to play around with the emails. But you can still access the menu by hovering your mouse pointer in that general area and it will float the menu back to you to choose whatever you want to choose. You'll also notice that clicking on Gmail reloads Gmail instead of giving you an option to choose between contacts and tasks. And speaking of tasks, that together with Calendar and Google Keep have all been moved to this new panel on the right side. So you no longer have to leave Gmail or open a new tab just to check your calendar or tasks. You can do all that within Gmail. You can even create a completely new task from an email by just dragging the email into the task and then editing a few things and then saving it as a complete new task. So that's very convenient. Together with those new additions, the interface just looks clean and feels smoother when navigating through the emails and the menus than it was before. So that's definitely a welcome aspect of these new updates. Another thing that you'll notice as soon as you start moving your mouse cursor over the emails is these hover icons that let you archive, delete, mark as read or even snooze the emails which i'll get back to in a while without even opening the email so now you have all these options right here that just help you save time and nothing more than that uh, i kind of like it though so you're busy doing some work some important stuff and then an email comes through you look at it it's more important stuff to do so you promise yourself to get back to that email later and then you end up forgetting it happens We've all been there and Google knows it. So just like you snooze your alarm to keep reminding you that you need to wake up and go to work every 10 or 15 minutes, Gmail has its own snooze feature in this new update. So once you decide you'll act on an email later, you can snooze it to a time of your choice. And when that time comes, the email will pop up like a new email complete with the notification. So it's very hard to miss it or forget it. This feature has been available for Gmail on mobile for a while, but it's nice to see it now on the desktop version. Security for all Google products has always been high on Google's priority list and emails that you send over Gmail are generally secured by passwords uh, through in two-factor authentication there, uh, encryption on the emails that are being sent over the network. But there's a new security feature that's been added to this new Gmail for those extremely sensitive emails, those highly confidential emails that you cannot risk anyone accessing it. So this is called confidential mode. So when you're composing an email, there's a new lock icon at the bottom that allows you to add an extra layer of security to the email. With this feature, you can set an expiry date for the email you send, after which it will disappear from the inbox of the person you sent it to. The email basically just expires and disappears from that person's inbox. You can also have Gmail generate a passcode for that email. So you enter the phone number of the person you're sending the email to, and when you hit send, that person will receive the email in their inbox and a code in their mobile phone through SMS. The recipient will be required to enter the code to unlock that particular email. So in case someone else has access to that person's email account or computer, they still won't be able to open that particular email you sent using confidential mode because they won't have the code to open that particular email. It's kind of like two-factor authentication, but this is like for specific emails, those sensitive emails. And generally all emails sent through confidential mode cannot be copied, forwarded, or printed. So that means they're just meant to be viewed inside the account of the person it was sent to. But of course, that's not extremely 100% secure. You, can, you can't avoid things like screenshots or just someone taking a mobile phone and taking a photo of that email. You can't prevent against that, but the regulations have been put there in this new email to make it a little bit more secure. Google has also integrated machine learning into Gmail and the new look Gmail will be able to identify emails you might have needed to respond to and possibly have forgotten. And then it will suggest to you that you might need to reply to an email or a couple of emails so there's that and it's really cool 
and Gmail will also look at the subscription emails that come into your inbox, identify the ones that you're not interested in and suggest to you to unsubscribe. To do this, it uses machine learning to look at and compare patterns of emails that come into your inbox and the emails you actually open. From that pattern, it can be able to tell which emails you keep ignoring and suggest to you to unsubscribe for those emails. And that's also really cool. This is generally meant to help you remove unwanted emails and clutter in your inbox and maintain a clean, well-organized Gmail account. So these are my top 5 features in this new Gmail. There are plenty of other tweaks and features that put together make this Gmail update worth the wait. More features are still in the pipeline like predictive typing and a lot of other stuff to make your life easier. So you better subscribe to stay tuned for that. But as of now, I highly recommend this new Gmail update. If it's available for you, you better start using it and getting used to it. And let me know what you like or dislike in this new Gmail in the comment section below. But until the next one, thank you for watching.